and welcome to the Nexus. Today we're going to be talking about TT120. Let's go. Okay, so in this video we're going to do a little bit of a talk, but also we're going to review this and you will see it running and everything else. But the video is going to be a little bit longer than normal um, because I want to tell you effectively how I got here. Because as you can see from from the banner this is my first train set and it is it is my first tt120 and as you can see we've got the uh the bluetooth version but i'm going to tell you exactly the journey that i've taken to get here and it's a long one uh so you can skip this part if you want and uh just see me unbox this and play with it or you can stick around and hear um the story behind all of this um, it's a bit of a long one, but I, I need everyone to understand um, where I've come from and where it's going to go. So let's get going. OK, so um, Hornby announced TT120 in October 2002. It seems like a long time ago. It, it, it was two years ago. Um, it seems longer for some reason. And um, obviously, I was all over this because, um, as as a boy, I think most most of us, as as a, you know, a young boy or a young girl, we've loved trains, and I've I've always loved trains ever since I was little. Obviously, watching Thomas and stuff like that, I've grown up, and I've always wanted a train set. Always, just put that there. I've always wanted the train set, um, and obviously they're mega expensive and you know never got one always wanted one i'm at a point in my life where i'm doing very well i'm stable got good income and i thought well perfect so i had a bit of a dilemma so uh this was before this come out i chose i was going to do a train set uh, i looked into um the normal double o scale which is the normal horn hornby scale i would say and uh, it's too big um, Now I do have a three bedroom house and I could use the loft, but I don't want it in the loft I want it out and about here so I can play with it. I don't want to be always away from everyone I want to be with everyone um, Now you could have said I'll come with uh, Engage now. I did look at Engage and For me Engage was too small Also, it was more expensive than double O so it didn't have it it was it was go down the smaller route lose the detail lose some of that sort of stuff uh, and pay more money or pay a little bit less get double o and have it bigger but i just didn't have the space for for that and then when hornby announced the tt120 i was like i said all over it it's the perfect scale and the tt obviously stands for tabletop so that means that i could put it on a tabletop as you're going to see in a minute um me playing with it on the dining room table because that's exactly what it was designed for it was designed to put it on a, a dining room table also to be slid under a, a table or, or a bed or something and it was just so it was more accessible and uh after reading up and looking at it i was like i said i was all over it i put in a pre-order right at the start when all the pre-orders went up and i went for the eastern set uh, I set up uh, the Facebook group, Hornby TT120 group, um, which, you know, I'm biased, but I think it's one of the best TT120 groups out there on Facebook. So if you haven't signed up, please do. And um, and it just went from there. It went huge. Now, Hornby done it in batches. So the first batch I didn't get. I was in the second batch. So everyone had got their train sets. They sold out really quickly. I was on the second batch. Um, I did get it. Once again, it sold out. It was massively popular. I don't know whether it was just Hornby done. Like um, they they lowballed the numbers, um, but they sold out really quickly all the time. Every time it went up, it, it sold out. Luckily, I got mine, an Eastern set. And then what happened was I got it and I was like, Cool. So I, you know, I'm going to do this. This is what I'm going to do. I've mentioned it all the time on the channel, and I was really pumped for it. And then it just sat there, like a bit like this. <laughs> it sat um, in my dining room, 
Um, and then I had, you know, I, you know, I've got work, kids, wife. Uh, I'm also doing the channel with lots of part works. If you haven't checked out what else we do here on the Nexus channel, I do mainly models and part works. Uh, so it was just finding uh, time to, to, to sort of sit down and do the Eastern set. Um, and obviously I had time off work, but every time I had time off work, there was a list of stuff that I'd put off that needed to do it. Um, and then sometimes if I did have spare time, I didn't really want to do much. Um, so anyway, it, it sat in the corner and it gathered dust and, um, I really wanted to do it. Then what happened was that Hornby went, well, now we've released that, we're going to release something new which was, I think it was in 2023, last year, they announced this, HM7000. So HM7000 um, was like, it's like a Bluetooth connected, you do it for your phone. Um, it's, 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 I would say it's old tech, um, especially when you come from a modeling world like I do, uh, things like Bluetooth and modding and all that sort of stuff is like the norm, especially when it comes to lighting, and operating a lot of models but for hornby they had something similar but this was sort of new um but old if you know what i mean they were very behind the times but i don't know whether it's just because of the community or what um but they were there was hesitance behind it but it done really well um so anyway, they brought out these sets then. They redone all the sets, but these ones were with the HM7000. Basically, HM7000 uh, basically allows you to operate your train from a phone or a tablet. It also means that the sound decoders and stuff are pre-fitted into these sets. So instead of putting a decoder already in your engines, um, in the locos, you don't have to. They're pre-fitted. And I was like... Well, I want that one. <laughs> um, so um, my wife said, well, it's just sat there. Why don't you sell it and then buy the newer one? Um, so that's what I did. I, I sold it um, and got a little bit more money than what I paid originally for it. And then I put a little bit more money to it to get this set, which is the Scotsman set which is a slightly better set because of the Pullman coaches, because uh, these Pullman coaches light up. And I don't think they sell them now individually on the website. I don't know why, but they just don't anymore. Um, so I got this set. Uh, once again, I got this months and months ago. Once again, this and um, it was going through that again. I was, I was like, I need that time. So I had some time off. I, as you can see, I redecorated in here. If you watch some older videos, you'll see. And I actually got some time to finally do this. Now, this is my first, as you can see from the thumbnail and stuff, it's my first train set. Uh, not going to be my last because uh, I'd like you to like, click, subscribe and all of that because I'm going to I'm gonna create a whole, the whole thing on the back. If I take this a minute. So this here, I am going to effectively try and create that on um, what it says that I can use to recreate it on, like a tabletop. And I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I will I will need lots of advice from you guys and lots of help as well where maybe I'm going wrong, what I can do. And you'll see progress over a um, couple of months, months, years on progress on this because um, though I plan on doing this, I've got a funny feeling if I can, I will add bits to it if I can uh, I'm going to get the, the expansion packs and show you how as I go along I I have got some wood here as well so when I originally bought the set I bought some wood um I bought some MDF I can already hear people screaming what have I bought <laughs> so I bought some MDF I'm planning to put it on that if that's wrong let me know in the comments and I can always get other bits if need be so my plan is to, to have this as a permanent fixture on the channel, uh, especially TT120. I'd like lots of locos for it, so they're going to come as well. And it's just going to build up. Um, I am going down the HM7000 route, so I won't have a DCC or a DC um, controllers for it. 
and uh, we're, we're just going to see how we get on um, with that. But effectively, that's where I am now. Um, two, two years nearly from when I sort of started this journey. I'm actually getting to play with this now and to have a little go of it. And I just can't wait. Uh, obviously, the contents are a lot less than normal because you don't get the control box. But we do get the coaching and stuff. And we'll have a look at this in just a second because I'm going to do an unboxing video. So, without further ado, let's do that. Okay, so this is... The set. Do you want to hold the camera first? Yep. Okay, so... I'll have a look in it. If I can get into it. There we go. And this is the table we're going to do it on. As you can see here, it's a big enough area, I think. Okay, so, there we go, it's upside down, one way around here. Okay, so, we get the three Pullman coaches that are here. Uh, we get some buffers, and uh, this is putting the train on, the track. We get the uh, Bockney Bonnie, which is here. Have a look at that. Out. Like so. So we can uh, put that to the side a minute. Okay, so we get all the tracks that are here. We've already got the fish plates already on. So you know which sides they go on. We've also got uh, points and our straight and our power which is right here. We'll get the power lead. And we'll get the plug as well. And we also get a bag of little accessories. So these go on the front of the engine, the pipes and stuff like that, which I'll put on and show you all. So let me set it all up and uh, see what it's like. Okay, so we have got a little bit of a problem, haven't we, Kirst? Yes. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than our table. It actually hangs off. It goes right to the very ends. Of well, luckily, it goes, it goes over the ends. Yeah. Slightly. Luckily, I've got a bit of this um, foam boarding that I was going to use for something else. Otherwise, it wouldn't fit on this table. Um, I'm going to grab you a few more of them. Well, so I'm gonna, you well, can... no, I'm going to get a bit of wood big enough for yeah, the set to go on, but I mean... which will go on this table. And I'll be able to take it on and off. Yeah, so, but, but I mean to make shift for now so you can yeah. play. We also had a little trouble with the decoder and the HM7000. But we do have it working, which is here. And um, I'm going to do a full breakdown of everything what, that works on this. But I just wanted to show you the loco working. We've got one coach on. And as you can see, can you see the lights on that, Kirst? Yes. Yep. Now all the other coaches we've checked, we, we haven't covered them up, but I just wanted to get that, look, see it like that. And it looks, I mean, it is what it is, right? Yeah, So, I mean, did you want to sit down while I run it round? Yeah. Yeah, let me turn the light on a minute. I just need to sit because I can't stand for too long right now. Okay. Uh, right, so here it is. So, here's, here it is here. And we're going to turn the sound on, which is this button here. And so that all works. So hang on, let's uh, zoom up on it. And then what we'll do is we'll just put this dial to 10 or 20, just to get it going. And we're off. Yep. I have been playing around with it to make sure it all works. Because it goes up a little bit of a gradient here, it slows, but... But then a train would anyway, <laughs> you know. Um, I can speed it up as well, so I'm going to speed it up here to about 40. And you can hear it as it's getting faster. And then we can speed it up again to about 55. And I would say that's it. And there you go, it's all working. 
Now on this app, like I said, I will do a full breakdown, but you've got whistles on this and we can push the whistle. There it comes. And it's got loads and loads of sounds on here, loads. And there. Um, but it's working. Here it comes. Uh, you can work it without the sounds as well. You can turn the sounds off if you want. But I prefer it with the sounds on. And then you can obviously break it and stop it and slow it down. So I'm going to stop it just about here. And the stop function is really good because it just stops straight away. And I do love the, 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 the way it pulls off as well. That you get the little chug before and you get all the noises before it pulls off. So it's not like an instant pull off. And then we can do a little uh, whistle. I mean, it does shift as well. So, let's get some more views. Here it comes. And get it around there again. <laughs> oh. It's such um, I can't believe I waited this long to do this. So slow it down, which is great. Yeah, speed it right up. But yeah, I'm absolutely chuffed with this. And then what we'll do is we'll slowly bring it to a stop just here. And you can see it. You should park it up. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, hold that. Well, let's put it onto the uh, the siding there. So let me move forward a little bit. Stop it. And then we'll flip this switch. And then we'll back it up. Go 10, so it's slow. There we go. <laughs> and uh, then we can. Back off again. And that's it. <laughs> I'm going to be here for hours. Uh, so I'll see you in a minute, but I'm going to be here a few hours. So there you go. I have I mean, this is a couple of hours after. It's, it's still set up. I've only got the box here. This is all empty. <laughs> I'm going to be playing for that all night. Um, so uh, just to recap what I'm going to be doing now on the channel. Now, obviously, I know the table's now bigger. I need to say bigger than the dining room table, effectively. Um, which is fine. I'm going to follow what's on the back of this and get a piece of uh, MDF or a board, whatever is suggested. 
I was going to go for MDF, but I think some people have suggested not to. Let us know in the comments. Uh, I'm going to do that set. But I'm also going to do a smaller one as well. Um, that consists that, that can actually sit right on the top of the table there. Uh, maybe a, like a little shunting scene or something like that. Something where the trains can just sort of shunt trucks backwards and forwards. I think that would be really cool. So I'm going to do two um two sets and obviously keep following us here because i'm going to keep doing that sort of stuff i have got a new catalog here um the 2024 one as well um just to give us sort of an idea so that's what i'm going to be looking at to do for the bigger one and then like i said for the smaller one i'm going to do sort of like a little shunting yard uh and and build that up as a diorama set but i i i definitely want an 08 so I'm definitely getting one of them. Maybe I could get two and have that as a little shunting sort of piece that I could maybe attach to it later on or something like that if it gets bigger. Um, I'm also going to be getting more locos. Um, I'm also going to, I definitely want a HST. Um, I don't know whether or not to get the set or whether to buy it uh, individually because you've got the Intercity train set that's out or coming out. It's on pre-order at the minute. Um, but I definitely want one of them. I want some diesels. I want some more, more steam trains. So yeah, just keep watching and hopefully, um, it won't be long before I can get the rest of the track packs and start laying that down on the wood that I've already got. Now the wood that I've already got is too small. So that is why I said about doing, um, a shunting scene, which I'm going to do on that bit of MDF that I've already got, uh, which will actually fit on top. And what I can do is put a couple of um, power points on that. And then I could run two trains from the HM7000. Now, the, pr the problem is with that is um, I'm not too sure that the 08 class, the shunters, are compatible. I've seen some of them. I've seen somewhere where they've been able to fit a decoder and a sound chip. Um, but I don't think Hornby yet actually sell it with that. I'm wondering if they will later on. Um, so I don't, I, hopefully they do. Uh, if not, there's, there's loads of other trains and stuff and there's buildings. There's all that sort of stuff to come. Platforms, scenery. I'm going to do the whole kabang and I've never done this before. So I'm complete, I'm a complete novice. I've never attempted or done anything like this. Obviously I've done lots of models, you know, Warhammer and stuff on the channel, but this is never, I've never done a model railway before. So some of the techniques um, are going to be a bit sort of um, alien to me, if you know what I mean. But I'm hoping that everyone will help out um, and tell me where I'm going wrong and what to do. I've already found out some problems with the HM7000 uh, because obviously it runs on Bluetooth. Um, so it interferes with a lot of things. Um, what you didn't see in the video is that I did have problems at first connecting the HM7000 to the loco. Um, I had to ring up Hornby and get a passcode to reset it all. I was literally on the phone for about 10 minutes. It was fairly easy to get. But once I got it, it, it worked fine. Uh, the guy on the phone actually from Hornby said that they were having some problems with Android instead of over ISO. Um, I, uh, iOS, sorry, the Apple server. Um, but they said there were finding more problems with Android stuff um, and they were trying to fix that and there was going to be a bug fix for that in the app soon. Uh, but as you saw from the video, it's, it's all working and I'm going to go and play with it again in a minute. But yeah, I just wanted to look, just update everyone where, so the start of the video is obviously where we are. We've had a look now at it and now I'm hooked. So yeah, there's going to be loads more content in the coming, you know, months you know weeks months years whatever uh, i'm also going to start going to more of the model railway um shows as well where i'll be filming as well and hopefully uh can talk to some people there get a lot of ideas on what i want to do like i said as, as this is my first venture into something like this um all the help will be appreciated um uh, also as well remember to like subscribe and comment um because obviously i'm going to be bringing more of that sort of content anyway 
and let us know what you think as well. Uh, I've been Kev. Thank you for watching the Nexus, and we'll catch you in the next video. So until then, take it easy, guys. We'll see you then.